Tagi's still around. Tagi will. Tagi has to be summoned for Tagi to make an appearance. <sighs> Tagi can exist in emote form. Thank you, Tasmanian C Puma. Okay, let's play 3 0. Okay, <laughs> much quicker in getting a game. So, I'll, okay, I'm muting alerts. And I was bribed to play the Wayward Queen attack. I'm not going to pre-move this because G6 is legal. Okay. So this is my my dubious... I don't know why I'm playing this, but... And it's probably playable. Like, why not? D3. I might have to just move back all the way. If I move like to h3, there's knight d4, which is unpleasant. Um, it's already kind of unpleasant. Maybe bishop g5. It's playable though. Yeah, I'll treat this as a like kind of king's Indian. King's Indian with a bishop on g5. Yeah, so I'll take and play bishop g2. That's not too bad. Pressure against d5. I'm kind of hoping black plays d4, and then it's just kind of a nice, easy development for white. That move... Okay, if I take here, there's takes, and then... Uh, I can't take on c5, because this or this. I take with bishop, or maybe even pawn. Let's take with pawn. Offer the queen trade. Queen a5, 92, defending the knight. Castle. Um, probably get the queen off the d-file. Um, what to do? A3? Just trying to play quick, down a little bit of time. Uh, play this move. Yeah, I'll address the subs and cheers and everything after the game. Will be the appropriate thing to do. Um, that's actually a really good move. Oh, I have c4. I want to play e5 soon. And shut out the... I'm trying to shut out both bishops. Yeah, this gives me just enough time to like see some initiative. And the knight wants to return to c3. Eventually, I want to fight for the d-file. Considering this, but it's no good. So black might play this move. And then rook f2, bishop e7, knight c3. Considering this first, there's a small trap. Regulating this, rook d2, b4, queen d8. Not really a trap, though. Queen c3? Maybe queen c3. Offering the trade. Okay, now I fight for the d-file. Really, I play this move to try and prevent black from doubling up. Ah, that's kind of annoying. Uh, there's b3, I guess. A5, A4. Interesting. I take... I guess I should take this way. What to do this? This move? G4 is risky. But I want to give my knight a square. Knight was really clumsy on e2. Wow, fancy. Still down time. Interesting. Let's play this move. So I over defend the pawn. I want to double up. Put the queen on a happier place. Four attackers, four defenders. 
This pawn's a bit tender. Um, yeah, let's maneuver the knight to an even better square. Trying to calculate this line where I get the queen, queen and pawn for two rooks. Oh, okay, this should be good for me now. Um, it's slightly more pleasant, but maybe it's just equal. Mm. Don't want things to close down. C5 is hanging currently. That's a good move. I don't know what to do. That was a mouse slip, but good mouse slip. No, my thing. No! Ah! Oh, my thing. Oh, I got skewered. That was a good game, though. Man, I was a little bit slower that game. Managed to get a winning position, and I got skewered in the end. Opponent played very clutchly. Or very clutch? Clutch being an adverb? Yeah, this was a, a clutch move to do that was my first streamed game in like five five days or seven days i don't know um well the opening yeah i i feel like this is even worse against Sicilian because after e6 like the queen serves no purpose pawns defended knights coming here what does Stockfish Thanks think? For all the great well, it's not too bad. You've improved my test dramatically. I guess the queen just has to go back and then Clutchly it's opponent. playable. Duh. Duh. 